All right, welcome back into the Rowdy Studios. Buzz Cutler sitting alongside Bassmasters talking Talladega, where, come on, man, Carl Edwards yeah. finished 11th, but that's not real, really the story. The real story is how he strengthened his position in the points, and it, I think it's too soon to say it, but it almost feels like it's Carl Edwards is walking away with this championship. Well, it's his to lose, I think, is the case. 14-point lead in this system is pretty hefty. Uh, he's got that over, what, Matt Kenseth, who's his teammate. They're both going to maybe have issues or not be as confident heading to Martinsville, but to the same degree. And we know Carl has run well there in the past, has had some good races there in the past. I think Matt is better there than he has been over that a lot of Matt his career. Matt says he is. Uh, so it'll be interesting to watch at Martinsville because, again, anything can happen between those two guys. But I think all things being equal, you have to like Carl Edwards' chances. The other thing is you don't have to win a race to win this championship. Carl Edwards does not have to win a race. He can top 10, top 5 his way from here and win this championship. That's just the math. He, and especially, and he might win a race, but I don't think he has to win a race. But if he's still got a fairly sizable points lead heading into Phoenix and heading into Homestead, he will probably play it safe. He will probably run a conservative race and not go for the win unless he needs to. I mean, how many times has Jimmy Johnson actually run hard at Homestead, Miami? Last season was the first time. So Carl Edwards, if he keeps this up, he's not going to go for the win, nor should he necessarily. Well, I'd like to – I mean, you got to be careful saying he's not going to go for the win. He'll go for the win. If it's, just it's a there. question of what risks am I willing to take because you're trying to get the best finish you can, but you just – Sometimes I think you have to protect for the downside a little more. You have to say, you know what, this move right now at this point in the race, is that really worth it? Or can I just sit back here for a little bit and ride and not push it too much? And I think he has to now protect for the downside. That's the way to the championship. He's been top 10 it all the way through. This is his first non-top 10 finish, 11th, his first non-top 10 finish in the since chase in seven chase races. Since Texas of last season. So, and of course, those two were wins last two races last year. So, I, And I think heading into Martinsville, he employs a similar strategy. Or is it eight? How many races is it? Eight, seven, eight? It's, I, I know it's since the Texas Chase race last season. I haven't counted the races. Right. But I think Carl Edwards employs the same strategy heading into Martinsville that he did at Talladega, which is don't lose points. Survive. This is not my style of racetrack. Anything can happen. I just can't get caught up in somebody else's mess. I can't have a, a, a problem. I've got to get out with a top 15, top 10 well, finish. You, if he can do that yeah. at Martinsville, then he's good heading into Phoenix, uh, Texas, and Homestead, or what, Texas, Phoenix, Homestead. I think what you're looking for is a solid weekend, and it's a little bit different at Martinsville. For example, Talladega qualifying, eh, whatever. Correct. At Martinsville, qualifying is very important. Qualifying well is important for Carl Edwards and Matt Kenseth and anyone else who wants to get this championship. Qualify up towards the front and maintain that track position throughout the race. Uh, do you have to try to protect your position against a guy who's faster? You probably want to think more about letting him go, especially early in the race, and work on your race car, that kind of thing. Do you want to drive it real hard into the corner and bang into a guy to get that extra position? You want to be careful doing that kind of thing. So you're looking for solid lap times, solid weekend all the way through. Uh, that's what you look for for Carl Edwards. Yeah, and he's got a target on the roof of his race car. I mean, he's the guy to beat now. He's, he's the guy, the guy to beat. Everybody's got their eye on, and, and that's going to come into play as well. Absolutely. All right, for Bassmasters, I'm Buzz Cutler. Thanks for watching. Lots more right here, so uh, check back. Rowdy.com. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Rowdy.com.